I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today, we're gonna to learn how to wrap text around the bottom of a circle using Inkscape. So to begin, let's choose the circle and ellipse tool, and then hold shift and control at the same time as you make the circle, and it'll be nice and clean and even. Bring it to the center, and then choose the text selection tool. I have it set to Arial, pretty standard font. And let's write very much. To make the effect work better, we'll need to um, expand the character spacing. So for the kerning function, make sure you're back on the text selection tool. And then up here you can choose, this is the character spacing. Let's try, let's try 50, enter, and that'll space it out and you'll see why in a second. A good habit is to keep things aligned, at least I like to. So from here, just make sure you have your uh, text selected and then the circle. If you don't have the align and distribute menu open, there's an icon up here. But then uh, since it is already open, I'll choose last selected. That means these two are gonna be moved together and then I'll center them. All right, to make the actual effect where you're gonna wrap the text, go up to, make sure they're both selected, then go up to text, put on path, and that's how you just do a normal wrapping around the text. And you can swing this around so it's on the top. But just since we're doing the bottom, the next thing we have to do is make sure they're still both selected, then go to object, come all the way down to flip vertical. Okay, we're upside down, but we're almost home. So click off into no man's land and then choose just the text and then bring it out there. This way, now we, we the circle and the text are tied. That's how they kind of have a function together to make these different manipulations. But we just want to work with the text now. So let's make it like it's wrapped around a circle. And now you can choose how you want to work with it. So let's say we're making a logo with the, something on the top and something on the bottom. So let's move the circle out of here. See how it moves the text? They're kind of tied like that, but that's fine. So there is our bottom. To make the top part, that's now easy because you're a pro. So go to circle and ellipses tool, shift control to make a new circle. Come into some new space, random T. And then let's write, thank you. So same thing, thank you. And then you're gonna have to add a little bit of character spacing. Let's just choose 25 and then bring them into alignment. So make sure you're on the text, make sure you're on the circle, make sure you have your line distribute open, last selected, centered, text, put on path. It's upside down, get out of there. And then just make sure you rotate it back and then let's get the circle out of the way and just finish this thing. All right, we move, but that's okay. We're coming back. All right, so now let's just make sure we clean this up so it's here. And then I'll make a reference circle. You always have to make a new circle because each one is tied to one of the different um, arcs. So shift, control, let's make it a red circle. And then we'll center that. The cool part is, if you remember which circle's which, the bottom one's down here, you can now control the curve. So I'll just hit shift and control again so it's even and I can make that a little bit wider and I can move this and then the top one that's already about right. All we need to do now is line them up, choose the top, shift, choose the bottom, last selected on the align and distribute menu and then center them and you've got a rough Logo, thank you very much there. This would be perfect for like a plastic bag. Like, thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, you could use this type of logo on a takeout bag, or you could improve it and have a, some type of icon or graphic in the center and make it a school logo or something. Just, you know, use you can use this new skill uh, for good. Thanks.